Well, welcome to this event. My golly, you guys look absolutely spectacular tonight. Well done. My God, even, and this is always surprising, the young men. Just how you do it. Uh, I'm Joel Whalen with the Center for Sales Leadership, the Effective Business Communication Program at DePaul University. We're going to be talking to you tonight about how you get the things that you want out of life. And it's so easy. And I recommend you do this. You go to plan number one. You get born into a wealthy family, and you have lots of connections. I mean, this is the A plan. This works every single time. All right? You'd be one of those folks who was born on third base and thought they hit a triple. You know what I'm saying? So just real quick, uh, would all the rich people in the room raise your hand, please? Let me see the I love, oh, you got to love your son. And you also, young woman, I love rich people. Rich people have great toys. You go to their house, they've got everything. And the, you go to their clubs, they dine better, they've got yachts, they fly on private planes. My recommendation is be born into a wealthy family, make friends with the rich people. All righty. Uh, the rest of you guys aren't wealthy? We're friends. Yeah? We're friends. See, yes, you found the plan. And, and stay tight, no matter how obnoxious he, he obviously will become. <laughs> <laughs> Because here's one of the reasons why it's so successful in life when you're born into a wealthy family. It's what they teach their kids. From the first time they can speak and walk around, they are told how to meet people. They're taught how to shake hands. They're taught how to say hello, how to carry on a conversation. And they practice this at the clubs. They know how to maintain themselves at a club, the golf club, the tennis club, the yacht club, the beach club. And that's how they do things. And eventually they go to prep school together. They room together. They go to college together because they realize it's the connections and it's the who you know that make your life so much easier. And what I'm going to be teaching you guys tonight and what your instructors in effective business communication are going to continue to teach you are the ways to speak, the ways to stand, the ways to move that the upper middle class do. And I'm not talking about just your boss. I'm talking about your boss's boss and your boss's boss. These are the codes they know, all right? So we're going to kick, forget about plan two. Let's go to plan, plan number two. You've got to learn to hustle and make your own connections. That's the DePaul connection. That's the DePaul way of doing things. That's how DePaul makes people successful. So we're going to show you guys some tricks and techniques for hustling and making your own connections. So tonight we're going to be doing this. Scan through this billboard, if you will, and these are the things we're going to accomplish together tonight. So when you think about graduating from DePaul University, you're going to get a lot of assets, right? You've got an education, you've got a degree, you've had some time to mature, you've had some life experiences. But I'm promising you, rock and rollers, the biggest single asset, if you play it right, that you're going to graduate from DePaul University with is your connections. It's going to be who you know. Because sitting with you here tonight are the people who are going to run Chicagoland. You know, you guys will have business power, a network of information sources. Right now we have over 94,000 DePaul alums, and it's a huge screaming asset. Now sure, there's some other great universities in town, University of Chicago, Northwestern, but their graduates go back home. They go to other states, they go to other nations. We here at DePaul stay in town, and we run this place. We are wired, and we are connected deep into all the institutions of DePaul. You play it right, you learn how to network, and you will know folks in every single business, governmental agency, and not-for-profit land in Chicago. And probably, I'm guessing, you're thinking jobs, you're thinking internships, job contacts, and that's fine. Everything we're talking about tonight applies to that. Everything we're talking about tonight, yeah, it's great for getting jobs, but it's much more than that. Don't you want to know about the best stuff in life? Like, see anything on this list right here you like? You want to know who's got things on sale, where to buy them shoes with the red bottoms on them, which I don't quite understand why women like wearing those, but they do. Uh, sports venues, like this, going to various sports. You want to know what the good DePaul classes to take? You know, it's ski time. Do you want to know who's got a ski condo? Well, there's folks right here in your group at DePaul who got ski condos. They got, hey, think about spring break, they got places in Kabul. You know folks, you get wired by knowing people. And this is some of the techniques we're going to be talking about with you tonight in networking, you know? So let, let's say, if just for a small example, you like your hockey. Right? You're, you're, you're a Blackhawks fan, you love going to the game, you love the action on the ice, man, look at this. You love being with your friends, screaming with the crowd, you love the victories. You're all crazy about the Blackhawks. Well, you know, 
At our Center for Sales Leadership with Professor Rocco's class, we got deep, deep ties with the Blackhawks. We've got DePaul students working at the United Center, all right? And can you get wired into the Blackhawks? Sure. You just have to meet people. So you go into a networking event, a little small event here, and if you notice these lines of association, these friendships, these blue lines connecting with each other, you notice a couple of these folks are wired in with the Blackhawks. So when you move into the room, who would it be really nice to meet? That guy. Not only is he wired into the Blackhawks, but you notice the other blue lines reaching out? This person is social. This person knows what you're about to find tonight. Maybe you already know this, that the more people you know and who like you and feel connected with you, the more opportunity you have, the more doors that open. Yeah, because a lot of times you walk into a networking event, a room full of people, and it looks like this. Who in the hell are you going to talk to? It can be completely overwhelming, you know, particularly if you're new, you're the stranger. So how do you manage that? Well, what you need is a strategy. You need a plan to be successful going into any networking event. So before you go in, start thinking about people, all right? In the green, who do you want to meet? Who in that room are you going to be looking for, all right? And also, uh, who, excuse me, the green is like who you've already met, people that you want to reconnect with, people that you know, they're going to be there, you want to talk to them a little bit to cement those relationships. The orange is who you want to meet, folks you hope are there. It could be a person, or it could be a position, or a title, or the firm they're with some access they might have. And then, of course, the wonderful thing is discoveries. When you're networking, you meet people you had no idea that you're going to meet them. It's part of the, the treasure hunt that networking is. So with a plan of reconnecting with people that you've met before, folks that you decide you want to meet, and folks who you discover, all of a sudden this room full of people looks more manageable. It's more targeted. Because you don't try to meet everybody. You just want to meet the folks that you want to meet. So you may have lots of very brief little conversations until you find the folks you really want to talk with for just a few minutes, right? Now, this book is written by Nancy Wynn, a DePaul MBA grad. This just came out a couple of months ago. It's called The Networking Diary. It's about this young woman's voyage through professional networking. She has worked with the Chicago White Sox. She's started a couple of her own firms. She's a very successful entrepreneur, and she's going to share the secrets. Now, bless her heart, she asked me to write the foreword to the book. So if you would for just a second, read the foreword. This is what I wrote for. There's a little story for you there. Ready for the next one? You want to pick two or three organizations that you want to become known. You want to be a part of them, and you keep going and going and going. This is my story right now. I'm, I'm an old guy. I've been doing this stuff for years and years and years. About five years ago, the Center for Sales Leadership said we need more recognition in the academic world, so they picked me to go out and travel to large association meetings. And I swear to toast, for the first two, three years there, I was the stranger. I had no one to go to lunch with. Boo-hoo, right? All, didn't do, know about the cocktail parties. But then after you go two, three years, all of a sudden they start recognizing you. Now you have some conversations. And then by golly, you get on a committee. And you know, within five years, now I'm on the board and running things and totally part of the ethical social core of the organization. But in the beginning, just like most of you guys, I was the new kid. You just kind of navigate your way through it. You make a commitment and you keep going. So you have to select the groups carefully that you want to go to. You just don't, just don't drop in and leave. That's not going to get you where you want to be. So when you walk into the room, what are you going to say? That's the th big thing on everybody's mind. What are you going to say? Well, you've got to respond to these right here, the most dreaded questions. You get them all the time. Everybody's conversational opener. They're going to say, so what do you do? DePaul University, what's new at DePaul? Right? Well, as much as you don't want to talk about it, you better have some plans. You better have things that you can say. You know? Uh, you say, so what do you do? I say, I teach effective business communication at DePaul University Center for Sales Leadership. We're the largest sales education organization in the world. I teach people how to manage anxiety and package messages so they get more out of life. Boom. Cool. 
Now, now imagine yourself. Here you are. You're on the plane. You've got your first job. They're sending you to, to Boston for some meetings. And you sit in your seat, and they're all business people. It's a business flight. And the person sitting next to you, so uh, where are you from? You go, Chicago. Oh, yeah, very good. Where'd you go to school? Went to DePaul. Oh. Do you know what the very next thing they're going to want to talk to you about is? Basketball. Everybody, huh, huh, huh? Everybody at DePaul, who th thinks of DePaul University, thinks of basketball. You better be able to tell a basketball story. All right? Now, we've got a half dozen DePaul basketball greats here, and also some extraordinary volleyball players here tonight. Bless y'all's heart. See if you can't meet these folks. All right? Get to know them. First of all, some of the nicest people on the planet. And have a little story to tell, you know, about the time you met a DePaul basketball player. Because so, they expect you to. All right? It's your heritage, all right?